Hey, all you avid readers, this review just in. Author Stone Patrick has released his debut novel, which chronicles the challenges of being a female small-town lawyer in the hill country of Texas. In Patrick's debut thriller, The Fallen Body, Taylor Dixon may be getting too close to finding the killer who murdered her client's husband. When Texas Rangers arrest Sarah Baines for murdering her philandering husband, she's already got a lawyer. Taylor Dixon, a woman who Sarah recently befriended, who now has her first murder case. After Sarah is assaulted in prison while being tried, authorities place her in protective custody. That doesn't stop her husband's killer, Roman Danshov, from looking for Sarah, and Taylor might be the way for Roman to find her. Patrick's novel features a protagonist whose life outside of lawyering is often more intriguing. Taylor's wayward nephew, Spencer, invites himself to live with her, and the boy's father doesn't seem to mind. There are other legal cases not relevant to the murder, such as homeowners in dispute over a new fence and an internet hookup gone wrong that leave lasting impressions. Taylor is commendable as the lead, and she's usually thrown into dramatic situations, as when she quickly earns Spencer's respect by putting him to work, or when she gradually falls for Philip Davidson, the ranger keeping a close eye on Sarah, a connection that adds tension, since Sarah also has feelings for her protector. Roman's villainy is never in question. He's determined to stop Sarah, for a reason not wholly revealed until the end and his resolve leaves bodies in his wake and pages wrought with suspense. But is inexplicably omniscient, knowing somehow that Sarah is in protective custody and that, despite the case being over, Taylor is still looking into the murder. However, for a hired gun not wanting to draw attention to himself, Roman is conspicuous. He pulls his point twenty two on an annoying cabbie and is continually flushing wads of cash. Though the murderer's identity is known from the beginning, Patrick throws in a surprise or two before the story's over so that everything wraps up nicely. The family drama and an indelible protagonist in The Fallen Body give the narrative a decent amount of depth. I give it an enthusiastic two thumbs up. For info on how to purchase your copy of The Fallen Body, please send an email to thefallenbody at gmail.com or you can find us at facebook.com forward slash the fallen body.